Hi everyone. Uh, I, today I'd like to show you how to make uh, this counter circle uh, or uh, donuts pie chart uh, with Keynote. Uh, let me show you how this look like. Uh, let's play. All right, so it looks nice. Yeah. So let me just uh, delete and show you um, how you can create a same uh, pie chart with Keynote. So this is actually very simple. So you have to just um, create a pie chart, just regular pie chart. And then, um, so I'm gonna hit edit chart. And I don't need those six uh, sections here. So I'm gonna just get rid of that. So just hit delete, 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 delete. So I keep it those two. Um, and I'm gonna change number. So let's say, uh, I make it to, uh, so this part, 80 and then the other side is 20. So 80%, 20%, so the total should be 100%. Okay, so you can change the number of, uh, whichever you like. Okay, so I can get rid of that. Now you have to um, so edit this chart a little bit though. Uh, change, just change color and the style. So go to format, and I'm going to just double click that. So I'm selecting this blue part. Okay, so I wanna change that to uh, white. So right here, uh, now it's a widget. Uh, sorry, wedge. Uh, change to style, and now it's selected as blue. So I'm gonna click and then select white. So that's all. And the next one, I'm gonna change the green to uh, probably a little bit transparent. Okay, so I'm gonna select white, but I I, w I like to uh, change that uh, opacity. So click this, let's bring up this color chart. And uh, here's opacity here. So I'm going to just uh, move it to, let's say um, 10, 15%, uh, that's good, all right. And also uh, two more things. Uh, first, I like to get rid of uh, uh, this stroke. So, so outside of line, so it's very simple. Here's a stroke and then uh, select the none, all right. And also, I don't need this, this number here, so I would like to get rid of that. Uh, you have to go to uh, Wedge and Label, so you can just uncheck Values. All right, so that's all you need to do. All right, so let's move back here and then just resize, so that looks good. Now, next one is you're gonna just draw just a regular circle and then uh, just hit the range. So make sure this constraint uh, proportion is checked so that uh, you get the right proportion. And just move up here. All right, so I'm going just a little bit bigger and then just make it center here. That's good. And again, I'm just gonna say, change that from a range to tag, uh, style. And now we're gonna just get rid of um, line, no border, I don't need that. Now, so next step is I like to have the same background as this. I'm just gonna put the background you, you know, behind it. So to do so, I'm gonna just move that aside and I'm going to um, use this background. Okay, so you can copy for Mac, you can copy uh, or you can capture uh, the part of the screen. So command and shift and number four. Like that. So I'm going to just uh, select. Okay, so now it's here. So you can see that screenshot here. And all you have to do is just drag that and drop it in. And that's what you have to do. So I'm going to just move that to this section. Again, you can change the size if you want to. Okay, maybe that looks good. All right. So let's do the same thing. So that's all you have to do. And then, uh, so if you want to create a new one, so just like, copy that. And then, uh, so you have to draw the same size of circle. All right, so you can see the circle here. So let's go to range. So now the size here is 263 
263 point. So I'm just going to go to here and then we just type it number here. There we go. Again, I'm going to get rid of no border and I can get rid of that and put in the, in the middle. So same idea. So you have to do command and shift and number four. So approximately like that. And again, oops. I guess I move back here and just uh, make sure it aligned. And then uh, so just drag and drop. There we go. Okay, so the next one, so you do the same thing. So copy and use same circle and go to range. I think it was 263 by 263. And then style, no border. I'm sorry, so get rid of that circle and just move it over. And then again, so I'm gonna just capture that background here. So you don't have to be really exact. There we go. So that's the background. So I just drag and drop. And here it is. Now the next one is so uh, let's put uh, some graphic area here. So for example, so I got some graphic. Resize it and move it to a center like that. And I got another one. And the resize and move it in the middle like that. And the next one is maybe I can put uh, some text here. And I could say, you know, 94%. Make it uh, a little bigger. Let's say uh, maybe 72. That's good. So if you want to make it lighter, then you can change that. And again, so this is 80% uh, 20. So you can change to so 94. And the other side should be 16. Oh, sorry, not 16. Sorry, that must be just six. And then uh, change that part. So here we go. So that's how you make a circle, a counter circle, or a donut shape pie chart. Thanks for watching. Bye.